My mother gave me this habit of blessing myself when a siren passed. God forbids we are reminded it would be for someone that you know. Since moving to this city, I have stopped. The act seems teased a bit too often, yet I somehow remain lucky. They pass, do not stop at my door. America, 2006, a white police officer will kill a black citizen at least twice a week for the next six years. So when Mike Brown's mother heard sirens, it was a most familiar sound. Police are sworn to defend and protect, but I see little threat in the suspected theft of missing cigarettes with backs turned, hands erect. Cadets just forget under pressure, you see. So the people fell to their knees in protest. It was, after all, the most violent thing they could do. History will not be settled in handshakes. Instead, arms wave like it with a lamb's blood painted above the door, a white flag meaning peace, but if this is no war, why then are there bodies? Ever since Roman hands held Bethlehem soil have they known how to work the land. That crucified effigy changing pale down the centuries from a racial pedigree rewriting him refugee in retrospect. It carves from the native rude new weaponry, puts prisons in prayer and replaces the crucifix for a crosshair. Had Mike Brown been Michael White, He'd know a judge, not St. Peter. But cops like that have always pulled triggers on boys like him. More than once is more than chance. This is a habit that dies harder than people do. Change is violent, expensive and unpopular. But we are allowing the carpet lifted and the dirt swept under. Another siren sounds. And I wonder if his mother has blessed herself since. Thank you.